Hi guys, welcome to the TJS Base channel. I'm Tyler, and today I'm going to be reviewing what's in this box right here. Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be giving you a review of the Fine Fine K6 microphone, uh, and its focus is going to be on the application for recording bass guitar, and also I'm going to give you a little bit of my feedback from using it on gigs for backing vocals and things like that. First things first, um, despite the fact that it says Fine Fine, uh, the pronunciation for the brand is Fine Fine, and um, that's what they told me when they sent me this, so I'm happy to spread the word and let people know. Uh, opening the box, you get uh, a little piece of paper talking about your two year warranty, you get a user's guide, which I won't be using, it's a microphone, it's really simple, you get the 4.5 meter cable, that's an XLR to jack, really useful if you want to plug that into an amplifier, if you want to plug it into your karaoke machine, anything with quarter inch jack, they will probably take it, um, and that's just much more versatile than if you have to use a proper XLR. And then the microphone itself, really solid feeling microphone, not super heavy, but that's actually beneficial for live use, you don't want something super heavy on your mic stand, it's going to make it flop and drop, I'd rather have it that a bit, it was a bit lighter. Uh, and it sounds really good to be honest. Buying the microphone, you get the microphone and the cable all for $19.99 and that's available direct from Amazon. So looking around the hardware of the microphone itself, it's got a plastic on and off switch around the front, uh, removable cap as you would, so that's going to stop your plosives. It's got the foam inside as you would, you know, usual typical things and there's the uh, capsule itself pop this back on because I want to keep it safe. But other than that, that's it, that's it. It's a microphone, simple, simple construction, XLR on the bottom. It's got this cool kind of grey metallic colour which is somewhere between an SM58 black and the kind of SM58A, those beta range, the kind of bluey silver colour. Um, that's, that's nice, it means it's going to blend in on the professional setting quite, quite naturally. I wanted this review to be something useful for my subscribers, I didn't want it to be just an off-the-wall microphone review. So my primary application of this is going to be for recording electric bass guitar. So for recording, I'm going to have it set up uh, on axis, I'm going to have an off axis sound, and then also move it back a little bit to hear how it deals with distance.
So now you've heard what the microphone sounds like in those different positions and mic and bass guitar, I'm just going to give you a little bit of my own feedback and how I feel about the microphone in use on gigs and also how I thought it sounded as a, a bass mic and what I would use it for. I think to start off with I wouldn't use the microphone on its own for recording bass guitar. It sounds really good as a microphone to pick up mids and tubey kind of sounds, those saturated sounds that I would use this rig for. So that's a Ashdown 30 watt tube head into a 1x10 cab built by Barefaced. I would use this microphone to capture the mids and the highs uh, and the saturation that you get from a head like this, the low wattage tube amp. And I wouldn't use it on its own. I think that the bottom end of it is got lots of low mids, which is really lush and nice, but I think the actual fundamental isn't quite there. So I would be blending in a DI signal along with the microphone. And I think that that's a, the sound of it on its own is pretty good, but like I say, it's just lacking that fundamental. So if you want a really cheap microphone for recording your amplifier along with a DI signal, I would be getting one of these immediately, They're, they do the job really well, it does the job. Uh, in terms of backing vocals and as a vocal mic, I really like this microphone. My voice is not naturally particularly full in the low mids, I've got quite a, a naturally balanced voice but one that doesn't have much character in the low mids and I find that the fine fine microphone kind of brings out the areas of my voice that I would like to have a bit more strength and body in. So that low mid area I think sounds really good and complements well. I do a lot of lower harmonies with a few of the bands I play with, um, quite complex, detailed but lower harmonies um, inside parts and this really helps me fill that sound out and produce a lot of body and bottom end to the, the close knit harmonies. I really liked that aspect of it. I love the fact that it's got an on off button. Uh, as much as I quite often have been known to forget about that. Using this regularly, I've gotten used to knowing that I need to switch it on, and it's just great when you set up your gear on stage and have to leave it for a while, weddings, functions, that kind of thing. Turn it off, no problems with the feedback, no one's gonna mess with it, you're golden, uh, and then just make sure it's switched on before you go on stage and, and do your thing. The other thing is I think that the feedback rejection is pretty good. They market this as a potential karaoke microphone, and I think that it rejects feedback pretty well uh, and particularly if you were to do a bandioke or something like that the ability to turn it off is quite useful when you're handing it to people or whatever you're doing. The last thing I would say with this microphone is that it doesn't require much gain. At sound checks I've been plugging it in and suddenly been way way louder than I'd expect to be using something like a 58 or a 57. This has got a lot more um, a response to gain. So that's a nice little feature and it means that if you are plugging it into something like an amplifier and you've just got your gain knob, that's going to do wonders and it can, it can really work for that situation if you're you know, band rehearsing in a pinch. I remember doing loads of band rehearsals when I was 16, 15, even younger than that and plugging into random bass amplifiers to use this, you know, to use a microphone through it and if I had one of these it would have been a much easier time when you got a nice strong signal. And it sounded good, it's a good sounding microphone. So overall for $19.99 I'd say this was a microphone well worth having. I would be happy to spend that money, get the cable, it's a really versatile option. If you're teaching, uh, you know, if you work at a music academy or something like that, you get the lead as well, you can plug into guitar amps, you can plug into anything pretty much. The drawbacks I would say to this microphone are that it's not particularly bright, so if you have a voice that's naturally quite dark, you probably want a little bit more brightness up on the top of your voice cutting through. Uh, and in terms of bass guitar, if you like really bright sounds, it probably might not be the thing for you. But I actually think the fact that it's quite dark suits a lot of bass guitar recording. So those are my thoughts on the Fine Fine microphone. I want you to let me know in the comments what your experience has been with Fine Fine products and also what your favourite cheap microphone is. So let's call it under £50, under $50, what's your favourite cheap microphone? So thank you so much for watching, thank you to Fine Fine for sending me this for review. I'm definitely going to be keeping it and use it on gigs and maybe a little bit more bass recording, things like that. But it's a really useful microphone to have around for 20 quid, it's worth trying.
If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell if you want to see my content the moment it comes out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around soon.